should do it. Turn away from the rocks, baby turtles. Careful, hero. <gasps> it's a crab, and it's got a baby turtle in its claw. Come here, crab. No, no, hey. What a cool and peaceful night. Huh? What's that? A baby turtle? Did you find your bone, Hero? <laughs> That's a good boy. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Zari. What's up? Hi, Leo. I'm at the beach, and I found a baby turtle crawling on the sand. A baby turtle? Aww. So cute! But it's all alone. Do you know if it'll be okay? It's alone? Let's look up more information on the computer to see how we can help it. I'm right behind you, Katie. <laughs> In the meantime, stay on the line, Zari. See you later, hero. <laughs> It's a baby hawksbill turtle. Hawksbill turtles get their name from the shape of their mouths. Their upper jaw sticks out more than the lower one, giving their mouth a beak-like shape, just like a hawk. Female hawksbill turtles return to the same area where they were hatched to lay eggs. One turtle can lay up to 200 eggs at a time. That's a lot of babies. Where are the turtle's brothers and sisters? Maybe they're still in the nest. Baby hawksbill turtles emerge as a group from their nest at night and instinctively head towards the water. How do they know where the water is? The baby hawksbill turtles head towards the brightest part of the natural environment, which is the horizon where there is moonlight reflecting off the water. So the baby turtle siblings might be emerging from their nest soon? Do you want to come over and watch them take their first steps to the water? Yes, of course. <laughs> See you soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. Let's go meet the baby hawksbill turtles. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue. Platypus one, activate! Here, Here we, we go. go! Happy birthday, baby hawksbill turtles! Welcome to the world! Look at them go! <laughs> oh no! Some baby turtles are going the wrong way! Turn around, baby turtles! The water's this way! I think the baby turtles are confused by the street light. They're a lot brighter than the light on the water. Then we need to cover that light. What can we use around here? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. We can use trash bags to block out the light. Great idea, Zari. Yuck! No! <laughs> I'll do it. It's empty. Oh! <laughs> Leo, can you help me? Sure, Katie. Jetpack activate. activate! That seems to do the trick. It's not so bright now. The baby turtles are turning back to the water! We did it! Um, where is the Hawksbill Turtle Mom? Why isn't she here to protect and guide her babies? Great question, Katie. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. To answer your question, Katie, once the Hawksbill Turtle Mom has laid her eggs in the sand, she covers it up and goes back to sea. The nest is left unattended, and the eggs are vulnerable to predators, like monitor lizards and crabs. After the eggs hatch, the baby Hawksbill Turtle's journey to the water is also a dangerous one, especially in an urban environment like this. There are natural predators like crabs and birds, and also other threats like pollution. Hawksbill turtles are critically endangered. We need to do our best to protect them. That means there aren't many of them left in the wild? We have to help as many baby turtles as we can. Whoa! 
Oh, some of them are heading towards the rocks. They might get stuck there. And I see some trash in the water. The turtles could get trapped in those plastic bags. A baby turtle's being dragged under the sand. There are dangers all around. Junior Rangers, let's split up to save the baby turtles. Got it. Let's do this. Aha, uh -huh. this might work. Baby turtles, I'm coming to save you. Hang on, baby turtles. Don't get caught in the plastic bags. There, much better. That should do it. Turn away from the rocks, baby turtles. Careful, hero. <gasps> it's a crab, and it's got a baby turtle in its claw. Come here, crab. No, no, hey. Gotcha. Sorry, crab. Baby turtles are not on the menu today. There goes the last few baby turtles. Goodbye, baby turtles. We hope to see you again when you're all grown up. You're free to go now, Crab. Sorry about that. We'll make sure to bring you something else to eat. You did well today, Junior Rangers. What are you doing, Peo? I'm looking for the tortoises. <laughs> you won't find any under there. Galapagos tortoises are huge. Really? How big can a tortoise be? Oh! That big! Whoa! It's huge! It looks like you found one, Peyo. Let's find out for sure. I've just sent you its photo, Katie. Can you check it out? I'm already on it. Let's see. It's indeed a Galapagos tortoise. They are the world's largest tortoises and can weigh more than the fridge. Their shells are not solid and are made up of honeycomb structures that hold small air chambers. This makes the shell lighter and easier for the tortoise to carry. The shell also protects it from predators. Galapagos tortoises can live to about a hundred years. Whoa, a hundred years? <sighs> what was that? <coughs> Hero! Pika! <coughs> Uh-oh, they don't sound happy. They don't look happy either. I think they're fighting. Do you think they're fighting over those fruits? Hmm, a green apple? Stop! What is it? What's wrong? Don't touch that! Step away from the fruit! That's the fruit of the manchineel tree! The most dangerous tree in the world! All parts of it are poisonous! Phew! That was close. Thanks, Peo. <gasps> are they harmful to tortoises? Nope. Galapagos tortoises actually eat those poisonous apples. Eeks! What can we do to stop them from fighting? I've got an idea. Ready, Hero? Let's lure them away from each other. Careful not to touch the fruit, guys! Please be extra careful. Don't worry, we'll be careful. All right, Hero, let's do this. Three, two, one, go! Over here, tortoise! It's working! Slow and steady! Well done, buddy! Here you go! Huh? Hero, stop teasing it! Just give it the fruit! There, buddy. Over here, guys. We have to flip it back on its feet. On the count of three, let's flip it together. Ready? Ready! Ready. <laughs> One, two, three. Flip it over! <laughs> Almost! Almost. <laughs> <sighs> 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 it's 
So heavy. Oh, hi, Ranger Rocky. How's it going over there, Leo? Found any Galapagos tortoises yet? Yes, we have. But one of them flipped over on its shell. Oh, dear. That sounds like a tricky situation. Galapagos tortoises have two main shell shapes, domed and saddleback. Some are shaped in between the two extremes. Domed tortoises have rounder shells and shorter necks. Saddleback tortoises have flatter shells with a raised neck opening resembling a saddle, as well as longer necks and limbs. Do you need my help, Junior Rangers? Nope. We got this, Ranger Rocky. We'll figure it out on our own. All right. I better get back to counting tortoises then. Keep me posted and good luck. Ranger out. Ranger out. <laughs> Hang in there, buddy. We'll flip you over in no time. Ta-da! Oh, wow! Cool! All right, everyone grab the rope. Ready? Ready! Ready. <laughs> this is going to work for sure. Three, two, one, pull! <laughs> Almost there! Jetpack activate! Leave it to me! Got it! Yay! Yay! Awesome! We did it! Just in time! Ranger Rocky, we did it! We flipped the tortoise back on its feet! And we did it all by ourselves! Amazing work, Junior Rangers! Well done. No more fighting. It's time to settle this once and for all. May the best tortoise win. Ready, set, go. Come on, tortoises. Juicy, non-poisonous apples await you. Go, 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 go. Mission accomplished. Keep at it, guys. We're almost done. Guys, come check this out. Ooh, what is it? Let's find out. I've just sent this photo to you, Katie. Got it. Now let's see. Oh, it's a Brazilian yellow scorpion. Like spiders, scorpions are part of the arachnid group. Arachnids tend to have two body segments, eight legs, and no wings or antennae. The Brazilian yellow scorpion has pale yellow legs. Watch out for their stings. They can cause serious harm. Scorpions have a venomous stinger at the end of their tails. They use them to protect themselves and catch food. Scorpions are carnivorous and eat insects such as cockroaches. Hmm, it's not safe to leave the scorpion here. We need to move it to a deserted area, somewhere far away from everyone. Good idea, Leo. Let me help. Hey, oh no! The scorpion is venomous, remember? It's too dangerous to pick it up with your bare hands. Done. Nice trap, Leo. Thanks, Peo. Now all we need is bait. Hmm, what can we use? I've got just the thing. A tasty snack for the scorpion. Is that a real cockroach? Nah, it's just a toy. I also have a rubber gecko and a rubber snake in my bag. Do you guys want to see? Maybe later, Peo. We'd better get the scorpion down first. Okie dokie. Here. Perfect. I hope this works. Come and get your snack, little scorpion. Come on. That's it. Just a bit more. Gotcha. Yay! Now we just have to find a jar to put it in. Katie, Hero, and I will go look for one. Peo, can you and Pico stay here to keep an eye on the scorpion? Make sure it doesn't escape. You can count on us, Leo. Awesome. We'll be back soon. Take your time. Hot, two, three, four. Hot, two, three, four. Hot, two, three. Hmm. It's awfully quiet. Hello? Are you still in there? Do you need some air? Hello, Junior Ranger. Ranger Rocky! What are you doing here? 
I'm looking for a scorpion. I saw one at the campsite earlier and I tried to catch it, but the sneaky fella got away. I've been trying to find it all day long. Oh, you mean this one? Huh? Wait a second, where is the yellow scorpion? We trapped it! But I don't see anything, Peo. That's strange. Where did it go? Ah! Ah! Oh no! Ranger Rocky! So, there you are, little fella. I finally got you. Are you okay? It stung you! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I shouldn't have lifted the basket! You're hurt and it's all my fault! What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What's going on? Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ah, perfect. Can I have that jar, Leo? Sure, Ranger Rocky, but what's going on? <gasps> the scorpion! Yeah, it stung Ranger Rocky on the leg. It happened so fast, before I knew it, it was up his leg and it stung him. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Ranger Rocky. Ah, uh, stop panicking, Peyo. You need to fix this. It's all right, Peyo. It's all good. But Ranger Rocky, that's a... Brazilian yellow scorpion, I know. Most scorpion stings are painful, but not fatal. However, the Brazilian yellow scorpion is regarded as the most dangerous scorpion in South America, as their venom is extremely toxic. It's especially dangerous to young children. We have to relocate the scorpion. I'll take over from here. No, Ranger Rocky, leave it to us. I promise you, we'll be very careful. You need to go to the hospital. Well, all right then. Ranger Rocky to headquarters, requesting helicopter evacuation, pronto. <laughs> Just have to mix them. Just a little more. hey what are you doing? I'm making a paste with some medicinal herbs from my bag. It'll help with Ranger Rocky's sting. Done! Here, Ranger Rocky. This will ease the pain. Thanks, Peo. And don't worry, I'll be fine. Ah, just in time. Please be very careful, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Take care. I'm really sorry. Don't feel too bad, Peo. He's Ranger Rocky. He'll be fine. Now, we need to get the scorpion away from here. Let's do this, Rangers. Can you hold this for me, Peo? Of course, Leo. You can count on me. This time for sure. All right, let's go. This place seems deserted. There are no tents around. It should be safe to release the scorpion here, but we have to be very careful. Just leave it to me. Can I have the jar, Peo? Here you go. Jetpack, activate. Please be careful, Leo. Don't get too close to the scorpion. Got it. Be free, little one. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we did it. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time for a game of table tennis, Hero. Okay, Hero, I will serve the ball first. Here I go. Oh, almost, Hero. What is it, Hero? More balls? How did they get here? Oh my, what's happening? It's a baby turtle. So these aren't balls, they're eggs. Do you know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now smile, little one. Hi, Katie. What information did you find about the baby sea turtle? Hi, Leo. There are seven types of sea turtles. This one is a leatherback sea turtle. It's the largest of all sea turtles. The leatherback sea turtle is named for its shell. It doesn't have a hard bony shell like other sea turtles have. Instead, its shell is covered with skin which feels like rubber or like leather. The leatherback sea turtle can also dive deeper than any other sea turtle. 
Leatherbacks eat small sea creatures, but what they mostly eat is their favorite food, jellyfish. Unfortunately, they sometimes find plastic bags in the sea and mistake them for jellyfish, so they eat the plastic bags. This is one of the reasons why the leatherback sea turtle is in danger. Oh no! People should not throw their garbage in the seas. Absolutely, Leo. Especially because the leatherback can be found in almost every sea worldwide. Male leatherbacks never leave the water, but female leatherbacks will leave the water to lay her eggs at the beach. I see. We should bring the baby sea turtle and the eggs back to their nest at the beach. Great idea, Leo. That's their best chance for survival. Of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Look, Baby Turtle is trying to make it for the sea. Oh no, raccoons! No, you can't have these eggs. It's too dangerous here, little one. Let's run. Can we do, Leo? I sense trouble, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky, raccoons are trying to get the baby sea turtle and the sea turtle eggs. Raccoons dislike bright lights, strong smells, and loud noises. Good luck. I have an idea. Let's try to make some noise with those smelly dustbin lids. Hopefully, that will scare the raccoons away. Great idea, Katie. And there is Hero to help. Ugh. It worked. They're finally gone. The eggs and the baby turtle are safe again. Shoo, crabs! <laughs> Good luck, little friend. Look, the eggs are hatching. Goodbye, everybody. We did it. We found the sea turtle's nest. Great job, everyone. <laughs> we found a baby sea turtle and eggs in our garden. We learned that they are leatherback sea turtles. They have soft shells and prefer sandy beaches to lay their eggs. So we brought the eggs back to the sea turtle's nest and the baby sea turtles found their way to the sea. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hey, Leo. What are you looking at? Here, Katie. Want to have a look? Thanks, Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. How's it going? Hi, Leo. I was camping on Christmas Island, and the strangest thing happened. Millions of crabs appeared out of nowhere. Millions of crabs? What are they doing? I've no idea. That's why I'm calling, Leo. It looks like they're headed somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. Here, let me send you a picture. Wow. wow. That's a lot of crabs. I can run the photo through my computer to look for more information. Sounds great, Katie. I'll get back to you once we find out more about the crabs, Kyle. Ranger out. Ranger out. All right. Let's go find out what the crabs on Christmas Island are up to. There it is. It seems those crabs are called the Christmas Island Red Crabs. The Christmas Island Red Crabs? That's right. Based on Kyle's observations, they must be migrating. The red crabs live mainly in the forest, but every year, when the rainy season begins, millions of them migrate to the beach to make babies. Before heading home, the female crabs place their eggs in the sea where they will hatch. Cool. Let me tell Kyle. 
Kyle. Hi, Leo. Did you find anything? Those are Christmas Island red crabs. They're migrating to the beach to make babies. Hmm, but some of them are going in different directions. What if they get lost? And what if they have to cross the road to get to the beach? <gasps> what if they get hurt? That'd be awful, Kyle. We'll come over to see how we can help guide the crabs safely to the beach. Wow, I've never seen so many crabs in one place. Hey guys, glad you can make it. Hi Kyle. Hi Kyle. <laughs> Looks like Hero is already making sure the crabs move in the right direction. Good job, Hero. What else can we do? I'll just get off right here. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. There are plenty of things you can do to ensure the crabs get to the beach safely and comfortably. It's important to provide the crabs with water to keep their bodies moist as they travel over the land. This prevents them from becoming dry as they're exposed to the sun's glare. We can help with that. And I know just how we can get some water on them. Jetpack, activate. Good thinking, Leo. I'll help you turn the water on. Ready when you are. Ready. They're definitely enjoying it. Here you go, crabs. Plenty of water to keep your bodies wet. Let's see what else we can help them with. Look, the crabs have to cross the road to get to the beach. Isn't that dangerous? Not to worry, Kyle. There's an underpass specially constructed to provide the crabs with a safe passage to the beach. Barricades have also been placed to direct the crabs towards the underpass. <gasps> but there's a hole in the barricade. Oh no. Some of the crabs got through the hole. They're headed straight for the road. I'll fix this, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Then we'd better get those crabs back to safety. Carefully. There you go. Just grab onto my boomerang. Okay, you can let go now. Is that all of them? Uh-oh, not quite. <gasps> we have to save that crab. We can use the jetpack, but we don't have to be the ones actually flying it. What do you mean, Katie? Put the jetpack on the ground and aim it towards the crab. I'll configure the jetpack controls from my tablet. That way, the jetpack can be activated without putting any of us in danger. Brilliant thinking, Katie. This should do it. And activate. Amazing. You did it, Katie. Good job, Junior Rangers. That was some quick thinking. The barrier has been fixed. No crabs will get onto the road now. Yay. Whew. That's great to hear, Ranger Rocky. Let's go, guys. I can hear the waves crashing. Here we are. The crabs have arrived safely. Wow, there's so many of them. From here on, they'll dig burrows and start making babies. In a month's time, the baby crabs will make their way from the sea to their new home. It will be a sight just as magnificent as this. I'm going to come back so I can watch the baby crabs migrate. Us too. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to guide the Christmas Island red crabs safely to the beach. <laughs> sure, Hero. Let's play fetch. <laughs> I brought some snacks. Yummy. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, again? Fetch! <laughs> These are awesome, Flora! Hero? 
Uh-oh, something's up. What is it, Hero? Where's your ball? That's Hero's ball? It looks... Ew, and smells a little different. That's not his ball. I sent you a photo of it, Katie. See if you can find out more about this stinky ball. I'm already on it. Just as I suspected, the ball is actually a dung ball. A dung ball? Dung balls are made by dung beetles. These beetles gather dung by rolling it into a ball so they can roll the balls back to their nests. What? Why would they do that? Well, the dung balls they make are either used by female dung beetles to lay eggs in or as food. Food? Yuck! Well, dung is important to dung beetles. But not all dung beetles make dung balls. There are three different types of dung beetles. Rollers, tunnelers, and twirlers. Rollers roll dung into a ball, while tunnelers bury their dung by digging underneath it. Dwellers live in the dung itself. So this belongs to a roller dung beetle. It probably mistook Hero's ball for its dung ball and rolled it away. It's okay, Hero. We'll get you a new one. <laughs> you just want your old ball back, huh? <laughs> I guess there's no other way. We have to help Hero get his ball back. <laughs> I think he smells something. Yeah, the smell of dung everywhere. Hey, that's my fertilizer you guys are using. Don't worry, Farah. We'll get more for you later. I guess the smell is a little too overwhelming for Hero. It's okay, Hero. We'll come up with another way to find your ball. But how? There are so many beetles. How will we ever find Hero's ball? It looks like it's time for a good old-fashioned search party. Let's split up. Hero and I will look over there. And Farah and I will look over there. All right, Rangers. Let's find Hero's ball. You're not going to try to go over that, are you? Silly beetle, you can go around it, you know. But here, let me help you. If you walk around butt first, you'll just keep bumping into things. Do you even know where you're going? They do know. Huh? Dung beetles are actually very good at navigation. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Dung beetles have a special way of navigation. It's okay if they walk butt first. They don't need to look around at things on the ground because they do not navigate using landmarks. Instead, they navigate using the sun during the day. And at night, they use the stars in the sky, just like sailors used to do in the past. Hmm. Aha! I have to go that way. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. No, nope, just a dung ball. <gasps> a star? That's it! Hero, over there! <laughs> That's not your ball, little friend. It's Hero's. Can we have it back, please? <laughs> oh no, the ball! Not the beetle, too! Hero, it's headed right for that cliff! Jetpack, activate! We've got to do something! Coming through! Over here! All right! We're all here! Junior Rangers to the rescue! It's not working! I'll get the beetle! Right behind you! a really short drop. <laughs> Great catch, Farah.
Thanks, guys. Thank you for taking the express route, little beetle. You've reached your destination. Please exit on the left. Don't worry. We're not going to let you leave empty-handed. Here's a dumb ball. Now the dung beetle has its dung ball, and Hero found his ball. Good job, Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, we better get that ball cleaned up. Mission accomplished. Hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. Hey, Leo. Is something wrong, Kyle? My ATV's been taken over by spiky hedgehogs. They're everywhere. They're on the handles, on the seat, on the wheels, under the wheels. They won't leave, and I can't get to my ATV at all. Hedgehogs? What are they doing on your ATV? Nothing. They're just there. I tried picking them up, but they're too prickly. Here, I took a photo of them. Hmm. We'll be right over to help you get your ATV back. Thanks. See you guys soon. Ranger out. All right. Let's go find out what animals have taken over Kyle's ATV. Just as I suspected, those spiky animals aren't hedgehogs. They're echidnas. Echidnas? That's right. The echidna, also known as the spiny anteater, is one of only two mammals that lay eggs. The other mammal is the platypus. Echidnas love to eat ants and termites. They have no teeth, so they use their long, sticky tongues to slurp up the ants. So, the animals on Kyle's ATV are echidnas. Let's head over to help Kyle get those echidnas off his ATV. Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. Did you figure out what to do about the hedgehogs? They're not hedgehogs, Kyle. They're echidnas. Echidnas, huh? Well then. Excuse me, Echidnas. Will you please get down from my ATV? Oh, no. Not another one. What's wrong, Hero? Whoa! Is that an echidna or a ball? Either way, I wouldn't touch that. It says here that when an echidna is frightened, it curls up into a ball to protect itself with its armor of spines. Were you trying to play with the echidna, Hero? <laughs> I know you meant well, Hero, but you should keep a safe distance away from them. Their spines would hurt you. They refuse to leave. I'm never going to be able to use my ATV again. How will I travel now? There are other forms of transport, Kyle. You know what would be a good way to get to places quickly? These bad boys right here. Your boots? My legs, to be precise. I can run really fast. Just watch. Woohoo! Oh, I can run like the... <sighs> wind. <sighs> We really need to get my ATV back. Did you guys see that? My snack box just moved. I think something is trapped inside. Well, let's have a look then. But how are we going to open the box? We can't get too close to the echidnas. They'll hurt us. Aha! I have an idea. Jetpack activate. I'll just use my grabber. Great thinking, Leo. Oh, it's another echidna inside. Are oh, my snacks safe? I don't think there's any left. <gasps> Not my snacks, too. Look, the other echidnas are moving towards the snack box. That's strange. Why are the rest of them trying to get to the echidna in the snack box? Because that's the female echidna. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. It's an echidna train. Choo-choo! A, a train? train? During mating season, male echidnas would follow a female echidna around, forming an echidna train. When the female is ready to make babies, the males will dig a circular pit in the ground and try to push each other out of it. 
The winner will make babies with the female. Judging from how the others are trying to get close to that echidna, it must be the female echidna. So, the other echidnas will follow the female wherever she goes? That's right, Katie. Hmm, I got it. If we want to get all the echidnas off Kyle's ATV, we have to find a way to lure the female echidna off. Then, the rest will follow. Perhaps she's hungry? We did find her in my snack box, and all the food is gone. Food? That's it! We should set up a picnic! Because echidnas like picnics? No, Kyle, but echidnas like to eat ants. And ants are attracted to picnics! Good idea, Leo. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's have a picnic! Um. Look, it's working! The ants are headed this way! The female echidna has spotted the ants! She's on the move, too! It's an echidna train! Choo-choo! <laughs> Bye, Bye echidnas. echidnas! Yes! We did it! I got my ATV back, and I get to enjoy a picnic! This is turning out to be the best day ever! <laughs> <laughs> Do you see her, Leo? No. I hope Farah's okay. Me too. She wanted us to come right away. Did you hear something? <gasps> ah! Leo! Katie! Thank goodness you're here! Farah! Farah! Ugh! Seaweed! Where's my handbook? Ah, here it is! We got your message about an intense fight underwater. Are you okay? What happened? I'm okay, but it's chaotic down there. They're still fighting. Let's go stop them. No, it's too dangerous. I barely escaped. Who or what is having that fight? Is it a shark? A giant squid? A shark fighting a giant squid? It's worse. I can't even bring myself to tell you what they are. Whoa. <laughs> Let's find out exactly what we're dealing with from a safe distance. Hero, can we use your camera? Good idea, Leo. I'll help control it with my tablet. Okay, now let's see what we've got. I don't see anything. Just a little to the left? Hmm, try going to the right instead. There, there they are! What, where? Go closer! Going closer. Huh? Shrimps? shrimps? Angry, fighting shrimps. That's it. I thought they'd be bigger. What exactly are they? Let's find out. These are no ordinary shrimps. Peacock mantis shrimps are a type of crustacean. That means they have hard outer shells. Are they dangerous? Farah's right. They may be small, but mantis shrimps can be aggressive. They're armed with special weapons of their own. There are two types of mantis shrimps, the smashers and the spearers. Smashers have front claws that are tipped with something that looks like a hammer. These shrimps pack a punch. They use their hammer-like claws to smash things. Spearers have sharp points at the end of their claws, like a little spear. They use that to poke things. Are peacock mantis shrimps smashers or spearers? Oh no, they're at it again. Whoa, that was fast. But if we slow the footage down, we can see that peacock mantis shrimps are... 
Smashers! No, no, no! According to my handbook, chapter four, page two, animals shouldn't be smashing each other! Don't worry, Farah. We'll break up the fight. <gasps> oh no! The camera! <laughs> it's okay, Hero. I'll get it back for you. Ugh, I can't see a thing. The camera is not responding. Let's turn Platypus One into a giant mantis shrimp. When those tiny mantis shrimps see how big it is, they'll be so scared that they'll forget all about their fight. Are you sure you want to do that? What if the mantis shrimp breaks something? Don't worry, Farah. I think Platypus One can take on a couple of shrimpy shrimps. Okay, guys, let's turn Platypus One into an unbeatable mantis shrimp monster. Ready, Farah? Yeah! Now! Roar! 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 It's working! We got their attention! Good job, Farah! I'm bringing us closer. Roger that, Leo! Roar, shrimps! Break it up! Break it up! Huh? huh? Why are they swimming towards us? as a team now. That's right. Go home. No more violence for you two. Yes, we got the shrimps to stop fighting and work together. That's great for them, but not for us. Look! Uh-oh. Time to get out of here. Hang on tight, Farah. <sighs> we made it out alive. I'll never underestimate shrimps again. Are you okay back there, Farah? Rawr! Rawr! Oops, I mean, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's up? Hi, Leo. You won't believe what I just found on the beach. An enormous crab leg. It's way longer than me. Here, I took a photo of it. Whoa, an enormous crab leg. What's it doing on the beach? Hmm, I can run the photo through the computer to look for more information. There it is. It seems the giant crab leg belongs to the Japanese spider crab. The Japanese spider crab is one of the world's largest crab. Its body is about the size of a basketball and it has the longest legs out of all the other crabs. From claw to claw, it can measure over three meters. That's about two of you, Leo. Whoa! It also says here that Japanese spider crabs can live up to 100 years. Wow, that's amazing. Did you hear that, Kai? The leg you found belongs to a Japanese spider crab. Spider? Oh, I hope it doesn't look like one. I don't like creepy crawlies too much. I hope the crab is all right. Me too, Katie. We should find it and make sure it's okay. It would be shellfish of us to ignore the situation. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come over to look for the crab. Okay, see you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. Thanks for coming, guys. That's the longest leg I've ever seen. Where did you find it, Kai? Right there, by the rock. Whoa! Careful, Kai. Huh? What's that? <gasps> Leo? What are you doing over there? Are you okay, Leo? <laughs> I'm all right. Oops. Did I hit you with a leg? Sorry, I wasn't looking. No worries, Kai. But you need to be careful with that. It says here that Japanese spider crabs live on the ocean floor in deep waters. Hmm, the leg must have washed ashore. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get into our scuba gear and dive underwater to look for it. Japanese spider crab, where are you? We have your leg. I don't think that's going to work, Kai. Then how are we going to find it? 
Uh, guys? <gasps> I think it found us. It's huge. Look, it's missing a leg. This must be the crab we're looking for. Hmm. I wonder if we can put its leg back. Don't worry, spider crab. We're just trying to put your leg back on. That way, you'll have all your legs again. Are you sure that's how crabs work, Leo? It's a perfect fit. That doesn't look very perfect to me. But the crab can't go around with a missing leg. Hmm. If only we could make it a new one. <gasps> Good idea, Katie. We can do that. I can't believe I didn't think of it earlier. We can make an entirely new crab leg. We can make it even stronger than the current leg. <gasps> we can help the crab move faster. We can have it shoot lasers. It's going to be awesome. Let's go. Cool beans. We did it. The new mechanical crab leg is good to go. Great job, Rangers. I can't wait for the crab to try it on. Let's go. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Leo, where did he go? <sighs> Not again. Don't worry. We made you a new leg this time. It's a perfect fit. Maybe we should stop using the word perfect all the time. I don't get it. Why didn't it work? What did we do wrong? What if we get something to tie the leg to the crab? Let's look for something we can use. Probably not seaweed. Ah! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky. <laughs> Sorry to scare you, Leo. What are you guys doing in the depths of the ocean? We found a Japanese spider crab with a missing leg. So we made it a brand new mechanical one. But it doesn't fit. Wow, that's an amazing invention. Great work, Junior Rangers. But there's no need to worry. It's common for Japanese spider crabs to lose their long legs. Fortunately, they can survive without a leg or two. Or even three. Like other crabs, when the Japanese spider crab grows too big for its shell, they lose it to make way for a new shell to grow. This is known as molting. Japanese spider crabs sometimes grow new legs when they molt. So, the crab will do just fine without the mechanical leg. Phew, I'm glad it's going to be all right after all. Be careful, hero. We don't want the crab to lose any more legs. <laughs> I think he likes hero. Hmm. Uh, can I keep the mechanical leg, Kai? I have an idea. Of course, Katie. It'd be shellfish of me to keep it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> No, Hero. If we move, we lose. Huh. You guys are good. It's your watch, Leo. Aren't you going to answer it? <sighs> no? Well then, Junior Ranger Katie speaking. Oh, hi, Jane. Hello, Katie. Mm, where is Leo? <laughs> We're playing a game. And if he moves, he loses. So it's just me today. <laughs> I see. What's up? Someone has destroyed an important animal statue that belongs to a village. Oh, no. Do you know who did it? I have no clue. I need your help to find and stop the statue destroyer. I am worried for the other statues. Yes, we love a good mystery, don't we, hero? <laughs> We'll be right over, Jane. Great. I will send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. <laughs> you move. You lose. I win. Well, Ranger duty calls. But I demand for a rematch when we get back. Over here. It is such a pity. Huh? What was that? Oh, no. The statues. No, not again. Who could have done 
this? The statue was just fine a second ago. There was a strange sound. <gasps> Guys, I found something. Look. A bird's footprint. And it's huge. I've just sent you its photo, Katie. Can you tell what type of bird it is? Let's find out. These prints belong to a shoe bill. That's a real bird? Yep, with their long wings and impressive height. Shoe bills are big birds. Shoe bills are named after their shoe shaped bills, which are pretty handy. There's a sharp edge that helps them cut their food, and a bill acts like a container that stores water. Shoe bills are quiet most of the time, but they can create quite a clatter with their bills. You know, that bird statue kind of looks like the shoe bill in the photo. Hmm. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? That it's an awesome statue? <laughs> no, Leo. First, that sound. Then, the footprints. That's not a shoe bill statue. It is an actual shoe bill, and it destroyed the statues. But it doesn't move. Hmm. Oh! It says here that shoe bills can stay as still as a statue for hours without moving. So it's an actual bird? I think so. The only way to know for sure is to make it move. Oh, then let's get to it. What are you doing, Zoomy? She's trying to get a reaction out of the shoe bill. <laughs> Hero! Are you okay, Hero? Huh? Eggs? Leo, I think they belong to... <gasps> the shoe bill. It is moving. I guess it is not a statue after all. I kind of wish it was. Run! Ah! Ah! <gasps> the statue! Jetpack, Jetpack activate! activate. That was close. It's back! Ah! Uh-oh. Jetpack activate! Ah! Katie! Ah! It's too heavy! Huh? Need a hand? Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. Look out! Get behind me, Junior Rangers. Oh, no, you don't. Calm down now. This is one angry shoe bill. What happened? I'm not sure. I think we found its eggs. I see. Shoe bills take good care of their eggs. Besides protecting them, they even water their eggs, sometimes four to five times a day, to cool them down. They'll also pack their nests with cool, wet grasses and stand over their eggs to provide shade. It's just protecting its eggs. Hero! The eggs! Whoa, got it! Phew. For the safety of the eggs and the statues, we should move the shoebill's nest. Good idea, Leo. Ah! It really doesn't like people messing with its eggs. Then let's move the statues instead, after we calm it down. There are no shoebill nests around. These statues should be just fine. What's up, Jane? Come quick. You are going to want to see this. We're on our way back. The shoebill's eggs have hatched. Ah, uh, the shoebill isn't that scary after all. What's it doing anyway? It spat its food out and it's feeding it to its chicks. Ew! Ew. Oh! Mission accomplished. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.